Watching Nicki Minaj make a play for you was one of my favorite television moments in recent memories. Buckle up, Buttercup. Anna Kendrick's about to hit you with some seriously funny stuff. So find a seat before you fall over laughing. Here are my top picks of Anna Kendrick's hilarious moments from her interviews. And trust me, I left out a lot of funny moments just to pick the cherry on the cake. Number 20, a frank conversation with Obama. In The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, Anna Kendrick talks about the time when she met Obama and how informally they talked with each other about his favorite role in her movies and the current political and economic state of the world. And I'm going like, oh my gosh, he's looking right at me and he's not, but then he actually looks right at me, which is very different. But their conversation takes a hilarious turn when Anna tells Stephen that when Obama shook hands with her, he made sure that Anna didn't feel any level of uncomfortable with him. However, what's so unexpected here is Anna's response. And I was like, oh, this is such an inconvenient time to be having a full stroke. Number 19, showing off her singing talent to James Corden. While she is an indefinite, amazing, and talented actor, Anna Kendrick sure knows how to sing as well. In this interview with James Corden, she was called over to have a riff off with James Corden's team. Ladies and gentlemen, the Philharmonic! <laughs> While James and his singing team continue to sing, Anna looks kind of out of the zone, as if she's bored. However, until James's singing convinces her to join them, Anna just picks up the mic and starts zooming on it. Move, bitch! Get out the way! Get out the way, bitch! Get out the way! Number 18, first ever drinking experience. Everyone in their life has a moment they'll always remember, and for Anna, it is the time when she drank for the first time in the movie theater where her brother works. She explains the whole situation to the audience and Jimmy Kimmel when Jimmy asks if she ever worked in a cinema. Did you ever work in a movie theater? Uh, because I bet oh. you would be good at the cup deal. At the movie theater, Anna explains how she got drunk the very first time. The funniest part is the flavor of the drink was something a baby would consume. I ended up getting drunk for the very first time at the movie theater that he worked at, like coffee, brandy, and milk. Number 17, British accent mimicry. At number 17, we take a look at one of Anna Kendrick's most hilarious interviews at the Graham Norton Show, where she was asked about her opinion of her British fans, including their accent and dialect. Now, Anna Kendrick, you've noticed something about British people and the way they speak. She talks about her stay at a hotel in the UK, where one of the bellboys offered to help her with her luggage, and after listening to his accent, Anna doubled it down and replied with the same dialect. Somebody came out and said, oh, do you need help with your bags? Um, I went, oh, I've been traveling all day, I have no idea. <laughs> Number 16, an intimate moment with Katy Perry. In her pioneer age, Anna Kendrick sure met some heat with multiple superstars like Beyonce, Jay-Z, and the most unpredictable, Katy Perry. In this interview with Conan O'Brien, Anna Kendrick reveals her first funniest interaction with Beyonce and Jay-Z. You know, I was like, I'm so sorry to do this. I just wanted to meet you. You're such an inspiration. And she points to Jay-Z and was like, oh, we just watched you on the Kennedy Center Honor. She said that I had a little red dress, which means that she actually watched it. However, things take a very drastic and hilarious turn when Anna Kendrick interacts with Katy Perry. Their conversation took an intimate turn while they were talking behind her movie premiere. Katy Perry finger banged my cleavage. It was a weird night. Number 15, shaking all expectations. At number 15, we are looking at a questionnaire of Never Have I Ever with Snoop Dogg, Anna Kendrick, and Martha Stewart. The questions to begin with are already really hilarious and traumatic to say the least. Never have I ever sexted. In the same interview, when Ellen asks a question, have you ever drunk dialed an ex? Things take an epic turn when Anna Kendrick leaves behind the likes of Snoop Dogg and Martha Stewart herself, leaving the audience with hysterical laughter. Never have I ever drunk dialed an ex. Oh, is that the strong side of the couch? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> number 14, The Art of Guessing. At number 14, in another interview with Ellen, Emily Blunt, Anna Kendrick, and Meryl Streep take a heads up game challenge. While heads up is an insane game to play with your friends to guess stuff, Anna surely did a perfect job at imitating the words present in the game with some of the most hilarious actions. Riding horse. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's changing a diaper. On top of that, Emily manages to guess everything that Anna tries to portray, making Anna the jack of all trades, even in family games. Ballet. Oh, that's beautiful. Woo. Number 13, a trip to Las Vegas. Moving on to number 13, Anna Kendrick reveals to the audience and the host at Live with Kelly and Mark about her trip to Las Vegas, where she and her friends met with the one and only Britney Spears. But uh, I went there a couple years ago um, with some of the girls from Pitch Perfect and we saw Britney Spears. According to Anna, while she and her friends were in a tub with no water, there they saw Britney Spears. However, Anna's wish to get her into the tub with her friends couldn't be fulfilled because Britney didn't notice her. Uh, so for hours, remember. you were <laughs> sitting in the tub for yeah, hours. Not with Britney Spears. Number 12, distraction at its finest. 
Now at number 12, Anna Kendrick's interview with Vanity Fair, where she watches her own old movie clips and gives her personal insight on them, is something one cannot predict what she's about to say. I forgot how passive aggressive and awful Stacy is. It's awesome. Her hilarious persona is so out of pocket that sometimes it feels like Anna doesn't even know what she's gonna say. One of the most out-of-pocket and hilarious moments from this interview is definitely when Anna watches her old absurd interview clip and she reveals what distracts her. And I sure would I'm distracted by my cleavage. Can I say that? Is that weird? Number 11, high pitch exaggeration. The next entry on this list is one of the reasons why everyone loves Anna Kendrick. She's bold and doesn't care about anyone as she remains true to herself. In an interview on Late Night with Seth Meyers, Anna reveals the time when she saw red bears in a zoo for the first time. The zoo is open on Christmas right. Day. And um, they have red pandas. It's hilarious and cute to see Anna Kendrick become suddenly high pitched as she talks about how adorable the red pandas she saw at the zoo a few months ago. Oh, Did you know there are red pandas? <laughs> in the zoo? They're like a fox and a raccoon and a bear and a dog and a cat. Number ten, the butt revelations. At number ten, Anna Kendrick returns to the Late Show with Stephen Colbert, and while the interview goes pretty straightforward, a hilarious turn of events takes place when Anna reveals a situation with her stunt double at a movie shoot. You got to pick your own butt double. Oh yeah. She explains about the movie Mike and Dave Need Wedding Date, where she needed a butt double. But the conversation continues to go out of control when Anna tells she never knew what her butt actually looks like. I realized like I don't know what my what my butt looks like because it's behind me. And the producer was like, her butt's a little square. And I was like, do I have a square butt? Number nine, Pitch Perfect 3's perfect impression. An interview with Jimmy Fallon where Anna Kendrick does her best at being Anna Kendrick, literally herself. They talk about doing other people's impressions, and later, Jimmy asks Anna to make a pitch perfect impression of how Kristen Stewart talked about Pitch Perfect 3. I do, I, I do one impression, and it's the weirdest impression. So Anna agrees to his request, and the outcome of the impression is quite hilarious and perfect, prompting everyone to appreciate her talent. Um, you know, there's like, the Bellas are out of college, and um. <laughs> Number eight, Anna Kendrick Lamar. While Anna is a great singer and actor likewise, guess she has some talent for rap as well. Anna reveals in an interview that while she was in the studio for Pitch Perfect shoot, the producer wanted Anna to rap on Dr. Dre's beat rendition. Like in the movie, in the scene, I'm like embarrassed and I'm bad at it. But then for the soundtrack, they wanted me to do it for real. It's the Dr. Dre rap from No Diggity. So just for the movie, Anna decided to go into the recording booth where she met two cool music producers and she just went crazy on the mic. And there were like these two cool like music producer guys there and they were like, get mad, get angry, like, you know, just harness that side of yourself. And I was like, okay. Number seven. The love for Taco Bell. Everyone loves Taco Bell, but when Conan and Anna discuss her old tweets, he reminds her about the tweets where she expressed her love for Taco Bell. You seem to tweet a lot about Taco Bell. I do. And I'm curious about that. With this spicy revelation, Conan asks Anna about her obsession with Taco Bell. Anna reveals that she was never sponsored by Taco Bell, but she loves it so much that she would just buy it and sit alone in her car to eat in the parking lot brewing impatience. I'll go through, I, find, I like drive out of my way to get to the one with the drive through and then I'll just eat it in the parking lot in my car. Number six, Egushin Roulette. The hilarious Russian roulette game, but with hard boiled and raw eggs between Jimmy Fallon and Anna Kendrick. Eight hard boiled and four raw eggs and the person to smash two raw eggs on their head loses. After two rounds, Jimmy reveals that Anna is the first woman to ever come on this game. Women don't usually, am I the first woman to do You're actually the first woman to play this game. But the real reason that Anna agreed to this game was because, well, it's better to listen to it yourself. Cause I've got X. <laughs> Number five, Anna Kendrick's gutted Bake Off. In an interview with Daniel Radcliffe, Justin Timberlake, and Anna Kendrick on The Graham Norton Show, Graham asked Justin and Anna about their appearance in The Great British Bake Off, which Anna actually loathes. Also, it's so great that it sort of immediately turned Mel and Sue into folk heroes. Anna uses her impression talent to show Graham and Daniel how the people of The Great British Bake Off treated everyone. And then it's like, of course Paul stayed. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, Dodgeball with Kevin Hart. When a comedian like Kevin Hart meets a person like Anna Kendrick, their hilarious personas are bound to have a hit. Together, Anna Kendrick and Kevin Hart go to a gymnasium to have a battle of dodgeball. Anna Kendrick hates dodgeball, as she saw a documentary about how dodgeball's production hurt gazelles, and she dominates Kevin Hart in their match. This is about to two, get you loose. Three. Two. No. two, three. Woo. Yeah. There you go. Number three, hatred toward healthy food. We all know how much Anna Kendrick loves Taco Bell, and in an interview with Ellen, she reveals how bad she felt both physically and mentally when she tried to work out with a healthy diet, but her experience was awful. I've been trying to like be more healthy and, oh, it's the worst. Anna tells Ellen that she understands why people love dieting, but after trying it out herself for a few months, she switched back to eating Taco Bell, ending her healthy food streak. Really hoping that I would just do it as an experiment and I would feel exactly the same, and I could but just go back to eating Taco Bell. Number two, an uncomfortable scene with Britney Snow. 
While this explains a love of Anna Kendrick for her movie Pitch Perfect, she explains an uncomfortable shower scene with Britney Snow. Anna tells how human and hot it was in the shower and how she just wanted to go home during her shoot. So, and, and now there's a scene in the movie that I understand was pretty uncomfortable. You guys were in the shower together. I was really like, I don't want to be here. I really want to go home. We had to be very, very close to each other singing. <laughs> Number one, The Hot Ones. The Hot Ones interview definitely deserves to be on the top of this list with the way Sean Evans asks Anna rapid questions while she's suffering from mouth burns. From the beginning of the interview, Anna understands that things are going to turn out horrendous. I'm in an excellent mood right now, <laughs> and things are going to go so bad. The most hilarious moment from this interview alone is the time when Sean gives Anna a hot sauce only meant for tacos. She loses her mind when the spiciness hits her mind, and she explains one of her moments from childhood. But I remember like wearing them uh, as a freshman in high school and just thinking <laughs> a t-shirt that said orgy on it or something. <laughs> <sighs> All right, Anna Kendrick. What's happening? Thanks for watching, and perhaps like the video and subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with more of these videos. And let me know which other showbiz beauties are so funny they deserve a video like this one.